Drift's monophonic sequencer is what allows the user to write down the foundational musical idea. It is possible to adjust pitch, velocity and chance values on a single step basis by accessing them using the respective tabs menu above the piano roll. On the right side of such menu, there are parameters which make it possible to adjust the global time resolution of the device as well as the number of steps of the whole sequence. Inputting values in the sequencer is pretty straightforward. Clicking and dragging on a step allows to modify the selected value. When the pitch tab is selected, we can also double-click on a note to disable its respective step completely. We can scroll the entire range of notes by holding the mouse on the keys on the left and dragging it up and down, as well as adjusting the zoom of the currently visible portion of notes by dragging it left and right. The F button beneath the piano roll can be activated in order to fold the notes range and make it show only the currently active notes, which makes it easier to change values quickly and experiment with different patterns. On the right side of the sequencer, we can find buttons that can be used to transform the sequence programmatically. While the buttons in the lower part are used to quickly trigger the modifiers, it's important to focus on the probabilities settings first, which can be accessed by clicking on the upmost button. This opens up the probabilities external window. Here we can find dedicated sections for each value, all sharing the same modifiers. Randomize, Scramble and Default. Each section's parameters are used to establish some boundaries for the randomization button. In the Pitch section, it's possible to set the root value and use the collection of 8 sliders to determine a weight for each note's chromatic degree. Hitting the randomize button will cause a random sequence of pitches to fill the sequencer, mirroring the root and degrees weight settings. Degrees with a greater weight will be more likely to get generated, while a weight of zero equals to no generation at all. Velocity and chance randomization works across a range of values that can be set using the min and max values. However, with velocity it's also possible to define a density value, which allows us to define which percentage of the randomly generated values is going to differ from zero. A 100% density value means that all of the generated values are going to be above zero. The scramble button is used to rearrange the values that are already present into the sequence. While the default button is going to reset all of the values to the predefined default ones. Now that we know more about the probabilities settings, it's easier to understand the remaining lower buttons in the right side of the sequencer. These give the user quick access to the randomized scramble and default triggers, but they'll only work on the parameter which is currently selected on the tab menu above the sequencer, according to the respective settings in the probabilities window.